Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I've got a little 3D printing project here I wanted to share with you. Budget Ecto Goggles. Um, these are the lenses. The designer is named Flazer, and I will put the Thingiverse link down in the description. These are super cool. These are designed to fit with the old school... Not old school, you can still get them, but you know, the cheap uh, welding goggles. I bought these on Amazon for, I think they were $7.99. Um, if you look at the goggles that Flazer used, they had hinges. They used to have hinges on the top. I don't know if you can still get the ones with the hinges or not, but these are a little bit different. This framework slides off of here like this, and you can see, you know, these, I don't want to take them all the way out because the frames fit tight and they'll end up scratching the, but you can see there how they just kind of push through, you know, just like that. And then, uh, so it would be easier to do it, you know, if the hinge was there, you could just pop them in and close it. But the problem is there's this ridge that then the base of the ecto goggles can't, uh, get by when you try to slide the frame back on so what I did you can see if you use these you just notch that out a little bit there we'll put the glass back in and then they just slide watch I'll say they slide on easy yeah they slide on they'll slide on easy <laughs> um, and there you go these ecto goggles the the welding goggle style have a very special place in my heart Halloween 1989, my dad let me use his welding goggles as my ecto goggles and uh, for trick-or-treating. Heartbroken the next day when he wanted them back for work, but it was so cool to use these. Obviously, I didn't have the lenses on. It was just the welding shield or welding glass, but anyway, these have a very special place in my heart. They fit really well. They're a great cheap, you know, like I said, the plastic used is negligible, The uh, you know, the cost of it. If you have a 3D printer, you could always just print out your entire, you know, ecto goggles. But this is a good, you know, quick, easy, and you don't have to worry about like, you know, if you take them to a convention or a party or anything, and something happens to them, it's not quite the end of the world. I mean, it was an $8 pair of goggles, and these took maybe what did it take? Four hours to print out. I know I could probably do it faster, but I've just been leaving all my settings, you know, right where they're at. Um, and just to show you guys. Uh, here's the just a comparison to the Maddie collector ecto goggles and here is a comparison to the spirit ecto goggles um, but yeah and then I want to show you guys I made some completely from scratch years ago these are probably 12 or 15 years old the PVC pipe obviously isn't from scratch but I built this framework completely out of I think these blocks were wood um, I cut the framework out of some thin plastic and all of these were cut out of thin plastic as well and I held them over the barbecue and got them hot and soft and pliable and pressed them in, pressed it into the nose piece here, um, that knob broke off, I think it was a toothpaste cap or something that I used there, but anyway, I was super proud of these but never finished them, and never put straps on them or anything, I just, uh, they've kind of just been a little piece I've had sitting on the, you know, on the shelf or whatever, but Anyway, there you go. There is the cheap budget welding ecto goggles, 3D printed lenses. Again, link down in the description to uh, this item designed by Flazer. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy and safe, and I'll talk to you soon. You know, sir, it's cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us spit you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Okay.